Good evening, um, it's currently about 20 to 8 and it is Tuesday the 5th of January, 6th of January, 5th of January I think. <laughs> um, I popped out to um, Tesco after I finished work and I thought I'd do a quick shopping haul for you. This isn't in any particular order and it's all a bit of a mess and I'm going to hurry up and get it done because I want to get the stuff put away because we're ready to put dinner on and I want to try and do a workout if I can. So I'll quickly show you what I've bought. And I forgot to mention that this came to £148 and is for um, six people. So it's not too bad all in all. I didn't buy a huge amount of meat, but I'll show you what I've got. Because we're all going to be working and schooling and stuff at home, I've bought extra stuff for like lunches and things like that. Um, but I've bought a pack of sweet and salty popcorn. I've bought some Peking um, rib oriental crackers and some sour cream and sweet corn kettle chips. These were all kind of on offer, so they weren't too bad a price. I bought an extra, extra, extra large pack of fairy dishwasher tablets because I've run out of those, pretty much. A bag of pasta, just to keep the cupboard stocked up. I bought some cream and some creme fraiche. That's for doing um, dinner tonight. I'm doing apollo pesto, which is why I've also bought the pesto. So that's for tonight's dinner. I've bought a white chocolate spread. That's probably for the kids for during the week. I bought some tins of chunky beef and vegetable soup. Apologies if you're getting glare off the light, but it's quite dark, so I've got to have the light on. I think I bought three tins of that, so they're all the same. I bought three tins of baked beans, just so we can have them for breakfast or lunches, and two tins of spaghetti rings. And I bought two tins of macaroni and cheese, again, just for light lunches. I bought a tin of corned beef, because I'm thinking of doing a corned beef hash. Over this side, I've got two um, pasta bake. These are cheese and bacon pasta bake. And I've got a, what is this one? A Kung, Kung Pao cooking, cooking sauce, Kung Pao. Can't pronounce it. Two bottles of the Stockwell lemonade. I think that's 17p a bottle. And two bottles of the Zero Coca-Cola. Um, I think that's something like 50p a bottle. So they're both were quite cheap. I've got two jars of tikka masala sauce because um, one jar wouldn't be enough. In fact, they're different. This one's got a black lid and one's got a purple lid. Don't know why, but <laughs> hopefully they're the same. Um, I bought these because these are different and these look like quite nice, but these are part of the Naked Noodle range. And this is a sachet. I think it's for one person that you cook on the hob and you add beef, like meat and veg to it. And this is a Korean style barbecue beef. Quite, I think that was a pound, looked quite nice. And I bought a chicken yakisoba one from the same range. I bought two packs of rice because I wanted to stock up with rice. We've got none left at all and we get through it quite quickly. So it was cheap to buy the two small bags than the one big bag. Two packs of wraps for lunches and so if we have like fajitas or something like that for tea. A loaf of bread. Two packs of wafer thin ham because it was on two for three pounds. I've got two pounds of basmati rice. I think they were 35p a pouch. Either 35 or 39, something like that. Um, two packs of pinar rice. I bought two of these crackling pork loin joints. Um, they only serve, I think it's two to three people, obviously the six of us. So I bought two of them reduced and they were reduced to three pound 15 each. I think they've got tomorrow's date on, so that's not too bad. So I'll probably have that for dinner tomorrow. Two bags of frozen chips. That's just to make it easy for the kids if they want to have something to lunch quite quick with a sandwich. And I've also got some curly fries for them. I've bought a 32 pack of boneless chicken. I've bought some green beans. I've got none of those left. And some peas. These are enough because they're called British fancy peas. I don't quite know what a fancy pea is. I'm assuming they're like petit pois, but... They're fancy peas, apparently. Um, I've got some sweet corn and I've got um, some sausages. So these are reduced fat Cumberland sausages and these are normal Lincolnshire sausages, so they'll be for dinner. I've got some light Philadelphia, so that can either be for a sandwich or for stirring through pasta sauce. I've got two clover lights because I've got none left and I didn't have any big containers and we'll get through it quite quick. So I've got a cheddar cheese and chive dip and a sour cream and chive dip they're just hand to have with crisps and things i've got some rollo mousse there's a pack of four there some milky bar mousse pack of four there they're quite good they're 80 calories and they're 85 calories i've got some mint aero ones 
they're 99 calories so again not too bad for a pudding I've got two of the Primula cheeses for putting through pasta sauce um, they didn't have any of the light ones so I've got two original ones I've got a pack of cheese slices these were 50p for 10 cheese slices which is quite good and I thought it'd be quite nice on a burger or something a pack of Neodama light for sandwiches two packs of halloumi for a dinner what else have I got a pack of grated cheese and then moving on to fruit and veg, I've got some carrots. These are the perfectly imperfect ones, so they're quite cheaper for one and a half kilos. I've bought some candy floss flavour grapes, they're mainly for you. I've bought a pack of three red onions and some broccoli. So this is my usual sort of staple. I've bought some oranges. They didn't hardly have any of the, the uh, sort of orange fruit. So there's no satsumas, no clementines, nothing like that. They just had some oranges. Um, I've also bought some bananas, I've not had bananas for several weeks at home. A pack of peppers, again if I do fajitas with the wraps they're quite handy to have in. Two packs of these potato slices because the kids quite like those so it's just something quick for them if I'm busy. I've got a Caesar salad kit, that's mainly for you and for lunch. Butterhead salad, just to have on the side. And some sweet jam lettuce so it can go on to various different um, sandwiches and things. I've got a Szechuan inside inspired sweet chilli cooking sauce, two of the filtered skim milks, for, we're getting through quite a lot of milk at the moment, I think the kids have more hot chocolates. I've got a light soy sauce because I've completely run out and I've also bought a teriyaki marinade. So that's all of this part done and then on to the next part over here. I've got a pack of flushable toilet wipes just for wiping the toilet seats and things with and I've got more to surface wipes for the kitchen. I bought a razor pack for Ewan. This was £15 but it does come with like nine blades because Ewan's getting desperate for one now, bless him. I bought some more command strips because I found these really, really good at Christmas for hanging things on the wall and not damaging anything. So I bought some more of those. I bought some bathroom cleaner because I've completely run out and I need to do my bathrooms desperately. I've got some shampoo and conditioner bought quite big bottles because we seem to be getting through loads of that at the moment. I bought an extra deodorant for me. I bought some oregano because they didn't have any Italian herbs and that's what I wanted to buy but I know I'm out of oregano anyway so. These are actually Tom's and he's paying me for them. This is actually quite a good value for a thousand grams. It was 375 so really good value. He likes a nice chewy sweet every now and again. I bought two packs of streaky bacon so I can't remember how much that was but it was fairly reasonable, so I bought two of those. Some lady items for me, with all my exercise in the morning, I definitely need those. I bought a pack of belly pork, because again, the kids quite like it. And I bought some pork loin steaks. And that's everything, so um, not too bad. I don't think I bought as much meat as I do when I go to Aldi, but I think I've got everything that I needed pretty much, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, I think it's quite a good value when you take into account the razor and the sweets and take those off it was probably 130 pounds for shopping which is pretty much the same as what i've been spending at aldi to be fair although i do probably get more meat there so not too bad all in all and um the shelves were fairly well stocked actually there were some bits that were missing and it did look like they'd stocked up on plain flour and self-raising flour and loo rolls and things just in case but um there were some things missing like i say the the fruit and veg bits were quite sparse but apart from that everything else looked fairly well stocked so no need to panic by <laughs> and um, anyway I'm going to shoot off now get this all put away so I can do my exercises and get tea ready and uh, I'll see you next time for the next one bye